The report from UBS banking group and accounting firm PricewaterhouseCoopers shows that China produced a new billionaire almost every week in the first quarter of this year. According to the report, there were around 200 billionaires in China last year, second only to the U.S., with 570. There's a trend going on in the billionaire market that it's, it, it's definitely moving from west to east. So the, there'll be more billionaires created in Asia, China specifically, over the next 10 to 20 years than any other region of the world. Of the 1,300 world's billionaires in the survey, most of the self-made billionaires live in the U.S., compared to 36 percent in Asia, and Europe came in third place with 17 percent. For many of them, it's a rags-to-riches story. 25 percent of the billionaires in Asia grew up in poverty, compared to 8 percent in the U.S. Most of the billionaire, uh, billionaires created in the U.S. over the last 20 years have actually been from the finance industry. Uh, technology number two, real estate number three. And if you think about in the U.S., it's the, the largest concentration of wealth around the world. And so it would make sense that we would have million, a, a number of billionaires created uh, from the finance sector. And technology, of course, is fast on the rise. And in Asia, uh, the billionaire tycoon has really been a key participant in the consumer and industrial revolutions going on in that part of the world. Rising real estate prices and a boom in the tech sector have all played a big role in wealth creation. While most of the world's billionaires made their money in different sectors, they all seem to share a few things in common. They are myopically focused on a particular industry and they know it better than anyone. So it, if it's real estate, they know the real estate market, they're going to try to get every competitive advantage they can to succeed in that market. If it's technology, the same thing. So they are truly focused on the area that they want to be their expertise. Um, number two, they're risk takers. Now they look at risk differently than probably most investors look at risk. They're not really concerned about downside risk as much as they are concerned about loss opportunity risk. They, they are really focused on what if I don't make this investment? What if I miss the next great, great uh, idea out there? And so they're always looking for what's the opportunity. That's the risk they see. As the swelling number of billionaires shows, the risk for many has paid off. The report says over the next five to ten years, the number of Asian billionaires will surpass the number in the United States. Tracy Tandon, CCTV, New York.